Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Wuzoma Obalor. Welcome back to the freaking channel. I'm very grateful, thankful, appreciative, and happy to have you guys back. Um, and we are back with a new vlog series as well, okay? Um, this is gonna be the very first episode of my new vlog series. I'm gonna title it Road to IFBB. And that pretty much means Road to Go Pro. You know, we're try I'm, I'm trying to become a professional in the sport of bodybuilding. And when you're professional, you are you compete in the IFBB. When you're an amateur, you compete in the NPC. So we're trying to go from the NPC to the IFBB, baby. Um, my last vlog series was the exact same thing. I just failed at that attempt. I got third place in my competition. You need first or second place to go pro. So this is going to be my second attempt. And with a second attempt comes a second vlog series. So let's get freaking started, all right? Um, I'm just waking up. I got my first meal ready. Breakfast time, favorite meal of the day. Let me show you guys what's on the menu. Follow me. All right, so we got a half cup of oatmeal with some sugar-free syrup in there and some PB2 powder. We got six egg whites, two slices of turkey bacon, and then we got a freaking blueberry bagel with some jelly on it. Yeah, all right guys, so that's the first meal. Let's keep things moving. All right, so we're gonna eat that meal up real quick, and then after that, um, I'm gonna take you guys to the gym. We're gonna, um, you know, today's gonna be a pretty quick day. So, let me eat this meal up real quick, and I'll see you guys briefly. All right, guys, we got breakfast in. Now, uh, we're about to go hit the gym, man. It's about that time, all right? So I'm about to cruise on down to the lift factory, and uh, yeah, let's get it. The future Hall of Famer, as I like name. to call him myself, Say his name. Usoma Obilo. What's up, guys? How you guys doing, man? We on our way to the gym right now. Can you tell us about your first time lifting weights? And I always had some dumbbells at the house. That's what. That's my first experience with uh, lifting weights. I always had some dumbbells at my house. I was really trying to get strong, just in case. I got two older brothers. I'm the youngest in the family. I was lifting those dumbbells consistently, just trying to get my arms strong, just trying to get strong in case they, in case they tried to test me. You know, in case I had to defend myself against them. So that was really my first experience with, uh, with, with weights. Some like dumbbells at the crib, trying to get some big arms. Yeah. At what point did you realize that you wanted to make a, a career out of this? Well, all throughout high school, I never really knew what I would uh, do with uh, like, uh, you know, the plan is to go to college and stuff. I never really knew what I would do with the degree. I was like, I didn't want to be a teacher, a doctor, a vet. Uh, you know, I didn't really want to think, I couldn't think, a banker, you know, uh, an account. I couldn't think of anything that I really wanted to be. But um, I joined the wrestling team. That's when things got, you know, like, that's when I had, a, I had a demand for more strength. So I got on the wrestling team. I started hitting the weight, the weights even more. Then I graduated high school, and the weightlifting stuck with me. So I was always weightlifting, you know what I'm saying? I was always enjoyed, like, bodybuilding. Not, like, competitive bodybuilding. Just the thought of trying to get bigger, trying to get stronger. That was always an uh, interest in my mind. The fact that, hey, like, uh, two weeks ago, you know, I couldn't hit this, uh, this amount of weight. And now I can hit it. Wow, like, you know, like, what's the limit? How strong can you get? Wow, uh, two weeks ago, I, w I was uh, 185 pounds. Now I'm 190 pounds. Wow, I can get bigger. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just want to... I was always interested to see how far you could take stuff. So I had a moment in my life where I was like, hey, man, I wish I could just dedicate my life to like, you know, focusing on my body, like developing it and seeing how far I could take it. You mentioned wrestling back in high school. How is that? How do you feel that that is helping you today? Maybe in the moment I didn't realize what that what it did for me because, you know, you kind of like just it's a very tough sport. You got to wake up early in the morning. It's a lifestyle. You got to wake up, grind, you're cutting weight. You're um, competing on low energy, things like that. You know, it's a very tough thing, and you're committing to it. You know, sometimes you don't even believe in yourself. You're scared to go out there, but you still try. You still struggle through it. And uh, when you're young like that, you don't, you don't really know what that's doing to you. You're just kind of experiencing it. But now looking back on it, that shit builds character. You know what I'm saying? It gets. There's a quote that says, like, after wrestling, uh, everything else in life is easy, you know what I'm saying? And I, I get what that means. You can get these, like, uh, these lessons from other things in life, but wrestling, you know, it just. It's so tough, so like anything else that comes at you in life, like you, you're ready for it. So you've done it before, like you've done something in that degree to that difficulty before, that level of uncomfort before. It's a great reference. It's something in your life that you've gotten through, so it's a great reference to refer back to. Like, damn, I got through that, I can get through this. 
That's a wrap guys that was a great freaking leg workout it was a quad dominant mainly focusing on the quads trying to bring that up trying to bring the conditioning up in um, in my legs for sure for sure for sure so that's in the books um, the next thing you always do after a great workout like that guys you go you go home you go home so you can go eat you gotta go replenish your body all right so that's exactly what I'm about to go do right now. I will see you guys back at the crib and I'll show you that post-workout meal, all right? See you guys soon. I wish I could have had some of that pizza, but uh, we on that prep life, baby. You know, I, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in this household right now, and I got uh, brothers and sisters and moms and dads. So, they be buying all this freaking tempting ass food like pizza and sweets and shit like that. So I gotta have the most discipline to stay strong through the prep. All right. But uh, I'm gonna finish eating this meal real quick. Uh, that was meals two and three combined I showed you. That was 12 ounces of chicken with eight ounces of sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna eat that. And then I'm seeing a movie later tonight. So I'm gonna have to get ready for that as well. So let me freaking uh, eat and uh, get ready and stuff. Peace.